In this easy step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how to draw the Super Mushroom from Super Mario. You will need the free color palette and brushes that you can find in the video description below. So, if you're ready, let's get started. To begin, you will need to create a square canvas. To do that, you go to the plus sign here, you click on this folder here, and you choose 2048 per 2048. If you want to print it, make sure you're in 300 dp high. Okay, so now you're, you have your canvas. To begin, let's turn the background in black. So, you click here, you click on background color, and you select the black color. Now, you'll take in the Super Mushroom set, the Mushroom Line brush. You'll select the first color of the palette, and you will draw a circle. You tap, you click on this little arrow here, so that you can put it in the center, like that. You feel it. Now that you have this red circle, we'll adjust the shape with the symmetry tool. You go to the wrench here, Drawing Assist, Edit Drawing Guide, you select Symmetry. I'm at 41% uh, of opacity and 60% uh, of thickness. And you click Done. To change the form, you need the Liquify tool. You go to Adjustment here. You click liquify, we'll select to begin a size of 70%. You will push in the button like that. Okay. Now we'll proceed to the body. You take the mushroom line brush, you select the second color of the palette, you select another layer, and you create a circle. You tap. Okay. You fill it. You put this layer behind the other one. And we'll center it. You take this little hour here. Yes. Oh, it's centered. Okay. And like for the hat, we'll now change the shape with the symmetry tool and the liquify tool. So, you make sure that the symmetry tool is activated, so you click here, the drawing assist, you take the liquify tool, an adjustment, you take 50%, and like for the hat, you will push the bottom of the corpse of the body. So that's it. It's approximately a line here. We'll need now to add a little part to the hat. So, you will select 
the mushroom line, the first color of the palette. You create a new layer that you put under the other two. You make sure that the drawing assist is on for the symmetry tool. And you redraw from here. To here to close the shapes. Okay, hold, release, and you fill. Now that you have your mushroom, the base colors of the mushroom, we'll draw the white part of the hat. To do that, you stay with the mushroom line brush, you take the third color of the palette, the, bla uh, the white, and you create another layer above everything. You click on the clipping mask and to begin we draw a circle. You hold, you tap and you stay still like that for approximately this size. Okay, you fill it, you select this little arrow here so that we can put it in the center. Approximately here. Yeah. Okay. Now we change the shape of this round circle. To do that, you will activate the drawing assist for the symmetry tool. You go to adjustments here. You click liquify and you select 70%. And with that, you will push in the bottom here a little bit. Okay. And a little in the center like that. And again, a little bit in the bottom. Now, we draw the other two circle of the hat. To do that, you stay with the mushroom line brush. You stay with the white color. Make sure that your drawing assist is on. And we'll draw an ellipse. Like that. You hold. You release. You fill. We'll now move to the eyes. To do that, you stay with the mushroom line brush. You will select a black color. You can do that by clicking here and selecting the background color. You will create another layer just above this one and you will activate the drawing assist like that so that the symmetry tool is on. We'll now draw an ellipse shape here. You hold, you tap, so that it's straight. And you release. You feel. We'll, like for the hat, change a little bit the shapes of the eye with the liquify tool. So, you go to Adjustment here, you click on Liquify, you select 20% and we'll push a little bit in the bottom and up here. You then select 30% and we'll push a little bit here and here. To draw the highlights of the eye, you'll select in hairbrush, the medium brush here. You'll select the third color, the white, and the you will create another layer 
use clipping mask during assist so that the symmetry tool is on and approximately 2% and you draw a little point here we'll now add a little bit of glow with the bloom tool you go to adjustment here to bloom and you slide a little bit on the right like that observe that it's changing even when the bloom is at zero percent i'm at a size of 30 percent and a burn of 35 percent you release and to add a little bit of light to the eyes a little bit of shading we'll select the soft brush you stay with the white color, you stay on this layer, you will select like 2% and you draw a little line like that. To add a little bit of depth to the eyes, I will um, do some shading around the extremities of the eye. To do that, I will stay with the soft brush, I will stay with the white color, and I will draw a really, really thin line around. Like that. Here in the bottom, don't push too much. Like that. If you are happy with your eyes, you can merge the two layers. Like that. We'll add a little bit of shading to each part of the mushroom. To do that, you'll stay with the soft brush. You will select the fourth color. You create a new layer above this one. You select, oh, clipping mask is already selected. and we draw some shading. You put it like um, 5%, maybe 6, 7, yeah, 9, okay. And like that. Here. Yeah. You shade a little bit. Maybe you are not seeing already the change in the color. It's possible but it's changing a little bit. Like that. A little bit here too. Okay, the light will be here and here. So the light is coming from here. You select the fifth color and like before, you draw a little bit here. You then select the sixth color and like the other one, but only in the most bottom part you draw here. We'll do the same for this part here, but we'll only use the sixth color. You stay with the soft brush and you create a new layer above this one. You select clipping mask, drawing assist for the symmetry tool and you will draw or paint um, progressively so that the color is approximately the same than this one. And we'll adjust on the this layer. Like that. 
and you just you jump between the two so that at the at the end it become approximately the same color like that and like that okay. we'll now move to these white parts here to do that you stay with the soft brush and you select this layer you remove the drawing assist because we don't want it to be symmetrical you select alpha lock so that when you draw it will only draw on the white parts and not on the red parts and you select the seventh color and like that you draw here you follow the shadows of the body and here Maybe you can't see much, much of the change for now, but with the next color you will see it a little better. You select the height color. And like that, you do the same. Now, we move to the body. So, you stay with the soft brush. You create another layer, clipping mask, you select the ninth color, approximately 7% or 6, and you draw here. Select a little bit less of size to draw the shadow of the hat. Like that. To add a little bit of depth to the, to the mushroom, we remove a little bit of shading from the extremities. To do that, you select the eraser, you select the soft brush, you select this layer, and you erase a little bit of the extremities. Like that. This part here too. You adjust so that it looks like one big shape. And for now the body. Erase a little bit here. And to finish for the white parts, you can't really erase because it's a clipping mask. So if you erase, it will show the red color below. So you take the soft brush. And you take the white color and you draw a little bit around like that. And here too. If you're happy with your hat, you can then merge on this three layer. We'll add a little bit of glow to this hat. To do that, 
you will click here you will duplicate this layer you will put it under you will select pin light here and you will select in adjustment the Gaussian blur you will slide a little bit like that and you adjust around the glow that you want mm, like that if you are happy with everything until now you will merge every layers together like that we'll uh, now put it in the center to do that you use this little arrow here and you drag it a little bit in the center down you can uh, use this function but it will not be in the middle because the size of the hat is really big so i guess you can put it uh, around here like that okay so it's approximately in the middle now we'll add some little spores to this mushroom to do that you select in the super mushroom set the spores brush here you will select this color the one color you will begin with a little size and you draw on another layer behind this layer little like that you can push a little bit more if you want it to appear and you draw like that you put a little bit bigger and you do the same and really big you can put some here like that if you don't want certain part of it you can always erase, erase it like that and to add a little bit of glue to the spores you will select this layer you will click on add you will use the adjustment to blur a little bit with the Gaussian blur but just a little bit not too much like uh, around 1% only I guess and to finish you will duplicate this layer and you will see that it will glow a little bit much a, a little bit more and for the last part of this drawing we'll add some texture to the mushroom to do that you select in the super mushroom set the mushroom texture you select the white color the third color of the palette you select a big size You click on another layer, clipping mask, and without pressurizing too much, you draw like that. Can I add a little bit of texture, you know? Like here, here, you see. And with that, your drawing is finished. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.